Hey, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech. Today I want to talk to you about Disney World, Disneyland, and what's been happening. And I don't want to talk to you about what all the guff and all the problems and all the financial issues that are going on with the park. I want to talk to you about the Disney people, the Disney staff, and how they're being affected by all of this, and who's really being hurt by what's going on. Now, the other day we went to Disney World Hollywood Studios, and it was a special occasion, so my wife and I ha happened to go in there. And we were amazed at how light the crowds were. And I'm going to get into all of that and what, how it's affecting the Disney personnel. I would have to say that about half to one third of the st people are not coming. And I can, you know, we can know, explain why. I mean, Kamala Harris has said that 65% of Americans are right now one paycheck away from bankruptcy. And that only 35% of people that are coming to the park have many money. And most of the people who are coming to the park are are foreigners anyway because this is their vacation time. So what does this really mean to you and I? Well the people who are really getting affected by this isn't by Guy uh, Bigner and all of the, the Disney executives. You know they get by God they get three two hundred and seventy five million dollar salary. Think he cares one way or the other about what's been happening? Yeah he has you know all of the staff and all that stuff going with him but I don't want to talk about that. You go to Disney World or Disneyland. Now, we were there, and I got to tell you, we started the day at 9 a.m., and we were able to, by 3 o'clock, to get on most of every ride inside of Disney World in, in Hollywood Studios. And the other two weeks before that, we were at Epcot, and I couldn't believe how empty that it was. I got to tell you. But really, what really was amazing, okay, is that if you're anything about the restaurants in Disney, it normally takes a day, two days, to get a reservation in there. Well, because it was a special occasion, my wife wanted to go to the Brown Derby. You know what? We were able to make a reservation in 10 minutes. The restaurants were empty. How bad was it? I'm going to tell you how bad it was. This bad. This bad. I mean, I got to tell you, there was. we were there, and I would say maybe a third of the restaurant was full, if that. And people were coming in, sitting down, look at the menu, realized it was $49 a plate. That didn't include tr beverages or anything else, plus the tip. And a lot of families just said, I can't afford this, and just were walking out. And the, the waiters were greatly affected. And I was talking to them because they, they know who I am because I do the show. And they said, hey, yeah, um, it's so bad. They've In all the restaurants, they've let go about a one-third of the waiters and staff in many of them. Now, and that includes... You know, in Epcot, you know, I don't know if you've you know, realized that a lot of the restaurants are privately owned and run. They lease the space out from Disney, and then they manage it on their own and have to pay Disney a certain amount of money. Well, because of what it costs them, the overhead, they're not making it. In fact, one of the restaurants, in the Moroccan restaurant, I believe it is, went, went bankrupt. That's really, really affecting. Now, a lot of the, the boots and merchandise boots are privately owned also. And they're not making the Disney sales because, of course, the merchandise is so fat, far, far out of reach to cost you. So this is a quick report. And I want you to think about the next time, if you decide to go to Disney World, how the people in this are being affected. Because, first thing, Disney wasn't keeping up with wages. Second thing, the price of everything has gone out of crazy. And thirdly, people like who live on commission and things like this or, or, or live on, uh, you know, tips are really hurting and just to close the one thought out let me think about this hey have you imagine this you go to the disney park and you want to go to indiana jones ride and they look at you they see the magic band which means you're a season pass holder right and management whoever they are sit down next to you while you're waiting for the show and start talking to you hey have you heard about we have the uh the, the disney horror show and we have this show coming up and have you bought your tickets yet and pushing the shows um, and I wasn't the only one they were doing it with they were doing it with others that's telling me that Disney is in desperation and they're actually telling their staff to, to start selling tickets to all the sub shows that's crazy anyway I just wanted to tell you what I, my experience and what's happening with Disney uh, check out my other my other videos I do a lot of tech reviews tech solutions and how to Anyway, Grandpa Casey out, and you have a great day.